Hello everyone, how are you doing? Might be a little bit noisy, um, we're still in lockdown currently um, and uh, the boys are just doing their thing outside so forgive any kind of random bangs and possibly screams. I want to talk about how to make the best of your lip shape. Um, now my lips are slightly bumpy as I prefer to describe them, they've got lots of fine lines through them and um, I love to wear strong colours on my lips and keep the rest of my makeup simple um, and there are certain things that I do just to kind of prep the skin around it and things to avoid if you are in a similar situation to mine and also I want to show you how to shape them to kind of bring out the best of your own lip shape. Now the first things first is that um, when you do have fine lines around your lips, the worst thing that you can do is actually layer on lots of foundation, especially foundation that is slightly glowy, because what it does is it sits and it reflects. And if your skin is slightly bumpy, you can really, really see the difference in the skin texture. So it highlights the bumps and the dips. So you don't want that. So if you put your foundation on, just, you know, very simply, just take a little tissue and just remove it off that area of your lip like so. So just be aware of any buildup. You might find that if you've got some fine downy hair around this area that the foundation might catch in there as well. So once you've put your base on and you feel that it kind of um, enhances those fine lines, maybe your fine lines might be around your eyes or around your lips, then just take a little bit of facial oil, dab the foundation off or just remove it just gently with your fingertips like that. None of us really have sort of red top lips unless you're going through some kind of skin issue. Um, so actually just to kind of buff it down a little bit shouldn't make any difference at all. Now, um, I'm going to start by obviously saying that your lips need to be really hydrated and I should have by this time actually put out a lip, um, my favorite lip balm film. I'm not sure, I'm sort of juggling things at the moment, so I hope I have, if not, it will be next week. Um, so lips are nice and hydrated. Um, I'm going to put as a first thing, um, it's called No Makeup Makeup by Pericone and it's called Instant Blur. Um, it's a lovely compact and basically it's like a silicon product and it can go across the front of your face if you've got really visible pores or maybe you've got some post acne scarring or if you've got fine lines. Oh, I prefer to use this just with my finger. You can use it um, with a sponge just over my fine lines here. So it's completely transparent. You have to really stretch the skin for obvious reasons to make sure that it goes into all the nooks and crannies and just pat it in and let it set. Simple as that. It doesn't feel heavy, it doesn't tighten your skin, it just literally creates a really soft silky layer. It's just like home DIY really when you're preparing your walls. You need to kind of create a smooth surface and then when you put your beautiful paint on it just looks really, really soft and smooth and expensive. And that's exactly what I've done with my lips here. Um, if you find that your vermilion line, which is the line of color on your lips is fading slightly, you can't really see where to put your color. Then a nice idea is to take a little bit of base, just using the Bobby, um, Body Shop one in here, the Fresh Nude, I really like this foundation, with a little bit of a Beauty Pie brush. Just very gently, even out the color around your lips. And what this does is it just kind of leaves the shape of your mouth. Um, sometimes we get confused on where to put the color because we're not sure where the shape of our mouth is. But if you just even out and neutralize the color of your lips, and I mean really lightly because obviously I've just told you not to put lots of foundation around the top of your lip, just very, very delicately. This will really help you see the shape of your lips and stop you worrying about where the colour of your lips is. Now, just with a very, very delicate um, a bit of foundation, tap, tapping over. Now, this is the key because you've just put um, the Insta Blur on and if you are using it around the front of your face as well, if you then go in, <sighs> we're so heavy handed. I watch women put makeup on all the time. So heavy handed. I'm like, you've just spent a fortune on that. Please be gentle. It's just trickery, just nice gentle strokes. Okay, so that takes the color out of my lips, smooths out the shape, and now I'm going to go in with the shape. Now, the color I'm going to actually use is this lovely one. It's the new Lipfinity Velvet Matte 
by Max Factor. Um, the shade of this, yes, is Orange Glow. Now I could go straight in with this, but just because I want to teach you the technique, I'm going to use a Rimmel Lip Liner first, just to show you. Now, when you look at your lips, the best way to start is just to kind of really create the nice, strong V shape, first of all, okay? So you wanna really start by looking directly into the mirror, make sure you're using good light. Make sure you've got a vanity mirror with lights around it, or you have a mirror that is looking straight towards a window. Please avoid any of those overhead lights. They just make us look awful. And when you put your makeup on, you won't feel satisfied or any satisfaction from doing so. So start with the V. Now, a lot of people will take the corner and then go straight up and straight up. What that does is that creates quite a, quite a pointy, sharp mouth, which equals sort of grumpy mouth. So what I want you to do, and it's just visualizing it in your head, is take the color, and I'm using almost the side of the pencil. I'm not going like this, because that will only distribute a tiny little bit of product and it'll be quite skinny. Use the side, and I want you to really create a nice arc around here. It's really quite difficult being a beauty ventriloquist. <laughs> it's here that I want to fill out my lip. And that goes for all of us. Just here, it's not that you're going all over your lip line and drawing all around your lip line. The point is the same natural point as your cupid's bow reaches. You're just filling it out. So let me just show you what you could do. You could just do this. Fill in the line there. Do you see the difference? So take it on the side and just take it out, just that fullness there, and stretch your lip and then take it into the side. So sort of talking about a few millimetres really, but those millimetres just kind of just give you that fuller shape to your mouth. And when you're wearing a strong colour, that will definitely give you confidence. Now all of us have different lip shapes um, and different ways to balance it out. Um, my natural lip line comes down here. And once I line my lips, then they're pretty balanced, but I just need to fill out the top area of my mouth there. It goes without saying to sharpen your lip pencil, make sure it's not dried out, always keep the lid on. Um, this is a very uh, soft, soft lip liner. The shade is 050 Tiramisu by Rimmel. And your lips should be hydrated. So the pencil glides on perfectly. Now you could leave the shape just like so, put some lip balm on, keep it matte just as it is, whatever you prefer. Um, but I want to show you this lovely bright colour. Um, I love these velvet mattes. This particular make does not dry your lips out. It feels really soft and velvety. Obviously, if you have dry lips and you put one of these liquid lipsticks on, of course, it's not going to feel nice, is it? But if you've got hydrated lips, it's perfect. And I just like the confidence it gives me to wear such a lovely, strong, bright, vibrant colour and know that it stays in place. I really avoid slippery wet lipsticks now. I just don't like them. Unless it's a glossy balm and that's the kind of look I'm going for, in which case I wouldn't line my lips like this. I prefer colour that goes on, stays put, feels light and airy and doesn't dehydrate my lips. So again, it's easy now. I can just follow the line and I'm gonna put a little bit of tension in my lips. Now you might say, oh, but it's not matching the colour. Of course you can match the colour. I was just doing that as an option to show you how natural lip liner can look. Lip liner doesn't have to be something that is really strong and uh, something that you wear when you're sort of going out or kind of like getting your best look on. Lip liner can be worn to prettify and perfect the most beautiful natural looks. So getting around to the edge and then I'll just go on with the colour.
So as you can see, as I'm applying the colour, the lipstick starts to dry, but it's really super smooth. So this is where you can just push the colour where you need it, knowing it's not going to move. And rub it together. Now the texture of that is really smooth. It's, it's matte, but it's not drying. And it gives a really nice, even line, just using the tip of the doe foot. Just to really polish up that line. And just very lightly go over that lip line. And then what I like to do for confidence is just take a clean cotton bud and just really gently just run that bud just over the top of the lip line and then it will stay put. Magic trick, make sure it's got no colour. So if I was going into a meeting now or um, maybe I was doing a talk or something like that I would feel really confident that this colour would stay put. Um, I haven't actually put any on my cheeks before but now because the colour is so strong and I'm just going to see how this works just to kind of balance it out. I am going to blend. I might just blend with a brush though just to really soften it out. Yeah I think that kind of just creates a little bit of balance doesn't it? I'm going to spread it too far. A little bit goes a long way, but I'm hoping, like some cream blushes don't tend to last that long, that this will give me a little bit more longevity. And I do like that, because normally I'd wear a more kind of nudey caramel colour um, on my skin if I was wearing a bright colour, but I just think I feel a little bit washed out, having not been in the sun for long. <laughs> so it's quite nice to have that colour. So there we are. So just be a little bit more mindful. Makeup is especially now we've got a little bit more time and if you do have time and you're not um, having a punishing work schedule and balancing kids then it's just quite nice to sort of spend some time and to look at your face and to look at your features and see just those small subtle adjustments that you can make um, and maybe swapping a few textures um, maybe you are struggling with wearing strong lipsticks and that's maybe because the texture is too slippery and it doesn't last long and you just feel conscious of it so it can be those tiny little adjustments that make all the difference to uh, you enjoying your makeup and how the makeup looks on you. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed that and um, I look forward to speaking to you next week and as always reading your comments below. Thank you so much. Bye for now.